Uh, this is your diesel doctor once again. And today, I will show you one of my creations. This is my new creations. And this is about a compact type uh, tester for not only for injector but leak, but also for supply pump. But before I will go to that uh, creation, before I will show you this creation, I want to greet all my subscribers. And uh, and this time, I will be with you again. I will, uh, I know you miss all my videos in the YouTube. And I am returning back. And shout out to all my subscribers in Muscat Oman, uh, India, Sri Lanka, and all part of the world. And sorry that this doctor is missing for some few months. And to all my subscribers here in the Philippines, Mindanao, Sayas, and in Luzon, I am here again. Now, uh, so much for the, uh, for my introduction, I want to show you now my creation. It is a new compact type, as I said, because this machine can uh, repair or can test a supply pump. It's even HP0, uh, HP3, HP4, even the CP1, CP2, CP3. Supply pump can be tested here. And if we are not repairing supply pump and we are repairing injectors, uh, what I mean is any of the customer injectors can be tested here by removing this pipe and put in here and collect by our uh, fuel collector. And this one, the delivery of that injector will come, will go inside this test tube and one of the test tube or the red weighted cylinder is your return. And uh, everyone knows that you, at my lecture, 30% uh, to 30 to 40% of the total delivery is our maximum return. So that is what I am always emphasizing in all my trainings. We have also the common rail here uh, in order to adapt the different pipes, the gauges, so that we can see the uh, rail pressure. We can actually read the rail pressure. And there, uh, I attach also one of the controller. This is a controller that controls rail pressure. I can have uh, whatever pressure I want without increasing the motor speed by means of this manual controller or manual pressure controller and I am using one horsepower uh, single phase motor okay and here and I uh, have all I can use also our suction control valve if we are uh, testing uh, any of the normally closed uh, suction control valves at this time we are our pump is normally open, that's why we don't need any more our uh, controller or our variable voltage controller to uh, supply voltage to our suction control valve. We are using uh, inverter. You will see there is a battery here so that we have to protect our uh, simulator, injector simulator. It is better that we are using an inverter so the current is constant. Uh, this can be easily damaged by fluctuating currents. Now, let us uh, see to start the machine. Okay, Robert, please start the machine. Okay, start your simulator. Okay, now we can start the machine now.
can check now the uh, relationship of return and the delivery. This is our uh, injector delivery. So we can we'll confirm this. From this point, this is our nozzle tip and it will go here. And this is our delivery. And this is our return now. So as I always tell in my uh, lecture, 30 to 40 percent of the total delivery is the maximum return and based on this we can calculate this is around 60 ml 60 ml 60 ml means uh, times uh, 0.35 uh, so we will go on the center of point of uh, 30 and 40 so 0.35 it should be how many really should be at least 21 uh, ml, 21 ml. And now we will read the uh, return Wait. by removing this. Then the return is exactly 21, 21 ml. So what this means? We can conclude that your injector is good. If the delivery and the uh, return is very high, it's getting more high and high. This means it is getting uh, weak. Our injector is getting weak. And what will be the result after this return goes more, more, and more? This will be hard starting and finally no starting. That's why this machine is very important for backlit testing. So injector it can be tested on this compact machine. At the same time, if we overhaul pump, we can uh, repair. We can check the newly repaired pump in here. So, dual purpose. This is not only for testing supply pumps, this is also used for testing our injector battery cage. And battery cage, as we know, is very, very important in the CRDI. The most common cause of hard starting and no start is because of heavy backlit injectors. What I show you in the first video is our master injector uh, together with this pump, with this uh, machine. And this time I will show you a customer injector. Uh, after repairing in the uh, hand pump, then we need to transfer and check in the in our backlit testing machine. And at this point I will show you uh, that confirming that this injector has been passed in the backlit testing machine. I will start the machine now. Then the delivery is here. And your return is here. Okay? You will see that the delivery is very fast getting up. And then it is start again. Okay. So uh, then we will compare the reading of the delivery and the return okay uh, the delivery is uh, 54 54 ml and our return is uh, uh, 15 ml so if we the 54 if we multiply it by 0.35 which is in between uh, 30 and 40 is how many is 19 ml. 19 ml, our deliver, our return is only 15. This confirmed that this injector had passed our backlit testing in our backlit testing machine. So we can, uh, we are very confident that when we fix this injector to the uh, engine, it will run and it will start quickly, and we will eliminate the hard starting problem. So that is. Uh, this machine is used and uh, it has been tested several times on the actual uh, vehicle and we confirm that it is start quickly well after passing on this machine. Uh, with so many problems of hard starting and long cranking, after passing this machine, we eliminate all those problems and we find this very to start the engine very quickly. So uh, for those who are interested 
uh, in this machine, you may call the Diesel Doctor Philippines on 0977-690-6564. And uh, as I tell you, you will not be losing if you will have one of these machines and at a very reasonable, reasonable price. Uh, for those, once again, uh, subscribers, uh, FB subscribers, followers, uh, thank you very much for continued support of our uh, YouTube channel, The Diesel Doctor Philippines, and at the same time, our uh, FB channel. Thank you very much, and once again, this is your Diesel Doctor telling good afternoon, everyone.